Hello and welcome to the first Bondi Snapshot interview for 2020. Today we're very lucky to have with us Ariel Azilka, who is the Rose Bay Secondary College School Captain for 2020. She's going to be sharing with us some of the challenges and issues facing the youth of today. So Ariella, hello and thank you so much for joining us here on Bondi Snapshot. <laughs> thank you for having me. Now this is an amazing start to the year 2020 yeah. and you're school captain yes. of Rose Bay <laughs> Secondary College. Congratulations. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about Rose Bay Secondary College. I love the school. It's yeah. a huge school. It's um, really different from like all the primary schools in the sense that you know, in my year group in primary school, we had about 60 kids and then I had 200, but I love it. I think the good thing about having a big school is everyone has their own groups and like there's people for everyone, a lot of individuality. Um, the teachers are amazing. Definitely the best part of school. They're insanely um, willing and generous and they'll give you, they'll stay back after school, they'll meet with you before school, they'll spend their recess and lunches, helping you if you want feedback. You can go to teachers that aren't your normal class teachers. And because it's such a big school, the extracurricular activities are amazing. A lot of them are by, run by volunteer parents or by teachers who volunteer their time. So sport, music, debating, public speaking, everything. What's your favourite subject? Probably English, actually. In this world of social media, there's a lot of challenges facing the youth of today. What do you see as some of those challenges? It has a really big influence yeah. on everyone's lives. Um, I personally don't actually use social media. I never wow. have, which always surprises everyone. Yeah. But um, you can definitely tell going to a school where nearly everyone does. I think um, at the moment, going into year 12, everyone's workload's increasing an insane amount and people finding it quite hard to get off social media and get off their phones. And that's like a challenge I think a lot of people are going through, like trying to find time to study when they're so used to always being on their phones. Do you think there's a place for schools not to have phones? I definitely think in class time there's no reason we need to have phones. Um, everyone has computers or laptops or if not the school has resources that they can give you. I know a lot of schools have banned them completely which I think would be quite difficult with a school of 1300 kids mm. to try and control that which is quite difficult but the teachers are definitely working towards having no tolerance of phones in class which is probably good for learning. We've talked about challenges but and we've had the great Greta Thunberg who's yes. just recently here. Yes. I mean that must have an influence and impact. A hundred percent yeah no there's definitely a lot of like it's an amazing platform for people like Greta to get their messages out. Everyone's a lot more focused yeah. on um, more environment initiatives it hasn't just fallen obviously the environment captains do a great job but I think everyone is now really passionate about um, trying to work out how our canteen can use less waste or how our school can do more recycling or have a natural bee garden. And I think it's good that we have powerful platforms like social media, which can allow people to have a voice over the government or concurrently to the government. So Ariella, what would you think if we tried to get all the schools together for like a youth summit about sustainability? I think that would be amazing. I think um, the youth have a lot to say, a lot of really um, informed, um, and educational things to say and although they might not be as old and wise as some of the politicians, um, it is like the future that they're going to be living in, it's the world they're going to be working in and hopefully having kids in so I think it's really important to listen to them and also um, a lot of the youth are quite educated about the environment, they're all very aware, um, a lot of young people are being very sustainable so I think they'd have a lot of interesting things to say and they'd also have a lot of intellectual points to discuss and yeah that would be a really good starting point. Maybe we should try and make that happen. <laughs> yes. Ariella, it's been wonderful, wonderful Thank speaking you. to you. So wishing you well in your studies, but also in your goals in, in leading the school forward for 2020. Thank you.